You could also have uh, those SH figures. Um, so I think it'd be good to do a deal with uh, Bandai. And then of course then the, the box it releases of the Green Ranger series. I would like it to be outtakes, you know, bonus scenes, deleted scenes, you know, um, cast interviews, which is, you know, and behind the scenes. Behind the scenes is one of the top things, you know, that I would like to see as well. And also in the workshops, get to see how the, the uh, model makers make the props and everything. And this will be good for cosplayers as well, because you're actually showing how you would make this stuff. So it also gives you kind of a step-by-step -step guide as well, from helmets to uh, the weapons to suits, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, you know, director's commentary, you know, all, all that kind of stuff that should be on a DVD. And I think there should be uh, an album release as well. Uh, an OST soundtrack uh, from Ron for this series, if he, you know, if, you know, if he does get to work on this, of course. Um, I think, you know, him actually having an OST album as well, uh, the score release as well. And I mean, of course, come on, a Green Ranger TV series, you can't not have the Green Ranger thing. It's legit. It seems, you know, it's something that has to happen. You have, like I said, all the cards need to be on the table, and um, I really think this would work. You know, you need to have the right people in the right place and the right mind who really see this through. Don't think about, oh, it's going to cost money, oh, it's going to be, yes, of course. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, please, please, please join us on the Facebook page. And if there is anybody out there who is linked to Saban in any kind of way, please forward this podcast towards him. Of course, then I would forward the letter to you and so on. You know, Saban, if you are listening... I'm still waiting for that business uh, meeting. I've written to you twice now. Yes, twice. I've also written to Jason as Jason Dave Frank as well. So follow me on YouTube. Uh, I'm also on DeviantArt as well, which I will post the link um, in the description below as well. Of course, if you're listening to this on my YouTube channel, then you're already here. Hooray! If not, the link is also in the bottom as well. Um, and the Facebook page again, I will uh, link that as well. So everything is there, everything is in contact. Uh, follow me either one way or another, it's up to you. Or follow me in all of them, even better. I just hope this can spread around a bit. I don't know, what do you guys think? Don't forget to leave your comment in the box below and please subscribe if you're listening to my YouTube channel. I would also um, like to take some opportunity to um, thank everyone who is supporting so far we need more supporters though we need more supporters we need more people involved so thank thanks to everyone who has been involved and people who are thinking about getting involved if that, that, would that make sense maybe i don't know if i haven't really kind of clarified anything enough i have stated on the facebook page a number of things pages of stuff um so please feel free to check through that but i think sometimes it takes the outsiders to become the insiders, if you get what I mean. People from the outside coming in who have a real passion for it and people who really know what they're doing opposed to the people who don't know what they're doing. So if we can try and contact these people that I've mentioned, um, I mean, I have Ron's contact. I have, um, he's a good friend of mine. I'm still loving Power Rangers with Ducks to this day. And I, yeah, like I said, he is one of the A-list people as well. He knows his stuff. Live action stuff that that can be so much more than this. It doesn't give enough time to give the stories the development that's needed. There is so much more depth this can have. There is so much more that it has to offer. There is so much I can offer to it as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not the only one who's passionate about this stuff. There are many, many people out there on Ranger forums who state how they feel about it. And I do. I feel for them because I understand it very well. If you have a passion for something... You're almost banging your head against the table going, I can do this, I can do this, I can make it better. Of course we all have that opinion. But I do sometimes kind of think, is it really that bad or have we outgrown it that it comes across as feeling that? And I thought about it for a while. I thought, well no, because I can go back and watch an old episode of Mighty Morphin and still enjoy it. You know, it's something you know, I'd, I wouldn't get bored of. This is something that just keeps on going. I mean, I purchased the box sets not long ago, and, you know, I'm loving it. I mean, when I was writing my stuff down, I was watching... Well, let's see. I've had the sets for quite a while now. I was watching up to... How many episodes a night was I watching? I was staying up to the early hours watching. 
and writing down notes on every season so far. So far, I'm up to Wild Force. So I've watched every single episode, every single one. It's quite a lot to take in, actually, believe it or not. But I think I can work with this. I'm looking at what we had and what we don't have and comparing what is needed to fill the gaps. Because I think, yes, you need more episodes because you're rushing everything and condensing it into 20 episodes. The Sentais do about 50 episodes. All right, Koyuja did about 48, I believe. Near enough 50. But Disney even did about 48 episodes. Uh, 48, 30, I can't remember, no, it's 48, yeah, for Ninja Storm, I believe. So even the, even the Disney were doing uh, more episodes. And the stories, even though they weren't as great as the uh, pre savannas I say, you know, they they come off a lot better than it does now. At the moment, the way it is now, I hate to say it, but Saban is making Disney look good. And, you know... You know, we all have our own opinions of what we think is better in terms of episodes. Some people say, oh, well, I like Wild Force, or someone will go, oh, I like Ninja Storm. You know, it, it's one of those debates that can keep going on forever because everyone's going to have an opinion. But your opinions may stay the same or they might change. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and I think everyone's opinion is valid. It is, because if you don't acknowledge other people's conversations, you know, it, it kind of comes across as a bit biased. So, um, thanks again for listening. I hope I didn't sound a bit crazy. I'm just enthusiastic about what I think and what could and should happen. So, yeah, I want to hear from you guys. What would actually make um, a Green Ranger TV series or film? What would you be more in favour of, the film first or the TV series? Or would you just have one or the other? What do you think? What would make it work for you? What would you like to see? Who would you like to see returning? Would you like a sense of mystery and drama and something that really adds to that sense of danger and actually makes it come off as feeling very, very real? Let me know what you think. What would you like to do? Or if you were in charge, you know, what would you do? Who would you hire? Would you direct it? Would you write it? Would you screenplay it? Would you... You know, there's so many possibilities. What do you guys think? Please state your comment in the box below. Yeah, and I'll get back to you ASAP.